Hello Linux fans, Rob here. Welcome to Linux Quest and always thank you for watching. So most of you are aware Linux Quest isn't primarily a uh, Linux gaming focused YouTube channel, but from time to time if I find a fun game, I want to share it with you. And I, I like games that run resident on Linux. And a lot of these games are kind of old school. So this particular game called Urban Terror, it is a uh, game that is based off of the, or runs on the Quake 3 Arena engine. And so, you know, it's your typical first-person shooter. Uh, what I like about this one, it was a relatively small download of 1.5 gig, including the game data. And, um, you know, basic modes, massive multiplayer online, if you will, you know, team deathmatch, capture, capture the flag, things like that, hold the base. Um, and, you know, again, runs resident on Linux, also runs on Mac and Windows. And uh, for the most part, a fun game, depending on your server connection, that kind of thing. So let's just jump into this. This is version 4.3.1. They've had a few bug fixes here, it looks like. Still dying. Okay, there we go. But I think, yeah, the latest version is 4.3. Uh, 4.3.1, where they've had a few bug fixes, lag issues, things like that resolved. So let's jump in. frozen sand all right so I'm gonna go in you've got typical setup here uh, set up for everything from your game control to um, your system settings things like that game options um, lots of detailed settings here that you can get into gun settings things like that so let's go in first with controls so obviously this is a game where you're gonna set up your keyboard and mouse for play and uh, I used to play like that all the time before the consoles came on the scene. And uh, it used to be pretty good, but now the old fingers and the brain, they don't work like they used to <laughs> together. So <laughs> mentally I'm thinking, yeah, I'm going to jump in and rule here. And uh, for whatever reason, that brain to finger connection says, nah, no, you're not. Anyway, but it's still fun. So uh, you can go in and set up look, move, weapons, you know, various items. You've got med kits and things here. Uh, for picking up the flag, so on and so forth. You can adjust all of that, toggle your laser. Uh, under miscellaneous, you're going to find uh, sensitivity, uh, smooth mouse, invert mouse, things like that, and then some chat settings. So uh, that's basically getting everything set up under control. Uh, under player, you're kind of limited here. You've got a few choices. I'm going to go to default Tom here. So uh, not a lot there to choose. Under system, uh, you can go in and set up your graphics. So here you want to make sure you're setting it up for your particular resolution. You know, if you have an external monitor or whatever, make sure you choose that. Color depth, the typical settings that you'll see, brightness, so on and so forth. Uh, texture quality. Under sound here, I've got the music turned way down. I'm going to slide the effects volume down just a hair as well. And I've got the quality set for low here. Um, it's, you know we're, we're recording and, and so there's no need to have a super high quality setting at this at this point so all of your typical setups uh, sound and then network you can go in and set the uh, data rate buffer things like that all right and um, restore defaults from there uh, I believe we've covered everything system yep game options yep covered that player and control so once everything's set Go back, you check, you're ready to just jump in and play online at that point. You'll notice a list of servers. Now there are a few maps that, um, depending on the server, that you may have pre-installed. If not, you'll get a pop-up that uh, says, hey, this is a new map, would you like to download it? And uh, I found one where I had to download a map. It took about three minutes. It wasn't uh, you know, a long process and played just fine. Now the server connections here, and you can look here and kind of judge from ping. Let's go down here and see what we've got going on. So here's Team Deathmatch. Let's see if we've got the map for this, and we'll go ahead and jump in. So once you've selected the server, um, you'll see number of players, the type of game, and ping. And let's just go ahead and jump in and see what this is like. So the, the thing that I enjoy about games like this is, number one, they're pretty simple and straightforward. I mean, there's nothing, you know, uh, 
nothing really that you have to prepare yourself for or train for or anything. It's kind of jump in. We're going to auto join. And, you know, you're not looking at striking graphics or anything, but the overall dynamics and feel of the game is just fine, uh, depending on the server, that kind of thing. So the speeds are good. The controls are easy to set up. Let's jump in and choose a few weapons here. Let's go with the AK there. We'll stay with the H and K there. And what do we have there? Desert Eagle. We'll switch to that. I believe I've got a uh, Kevlar vest. We'll stay with that. And grenade. So we're set. So we're ready to jump in. Like I said, I'm not good on these games like I once thought I was years ago. So let's see what we have here. Oops, let me get... Now once you're shot, you'll notice that you start to bleed out. So there's a little realism there. Alright, so I wonder... Quite a few players on this particular server, so... Hey, I got lucky. Now it's not as smooth. I've got the settings set up fairly high there. Didn't stand a chance with two of them. Look at that jumpy gun. <laughs> Again, this is just a game that if you just want to jump in and have a little fun, it's great for that. You didn't stand a prayer of a chance. I better reload. No way. I was dead on that guy. Look at my jumpy gun. <laughs> so you find that, but you know I'm not going to complain. This is a free game. It installs quickly. Jump in, have fun. That's what it's all about for me. No way. Sniper? Perhaps. And the maps are pretty expansive. I have found, um, for the most part, you're not you know you you're not um, here I am I better pay attention you know for the most part you're not running through half half your body through walls and half your body out the wall that kind of thing so I mean overall it's it's not bad now this one's a little laggy let's back up here see if we can throw a grenade Let's see if somebody's going to come through the door here. I'm dying. Let me throw up. Oh, no grenades. All right. Before I die, totally. Okay. Now, you were dead on, dude. Grenade. <laughs> All right. So, you get the idea here. Oh, in-game, you do have the ability to hit escape and then go in and adjust your options in game which is nice now I haven't tried this to see if everything saves and sets but I uh, just wanted to mention that that's something you can try for sure so anyway we're gonna go ahead and quit and jump out of this but uh, fun game again urban terror uh, 1.5 gig download with your data um, you may have to install a few maps find a good server and jump in and have fun so I uh, hope you enjoy this. If you give it a try, let me know. Thanks. We'll check you later.